It wasn't as hard as I thought it would be, blowing myself up. I didn't feel a thing. I'd rehearsed for this dozens, maybe hundreds of times. Like putting on a uniform. Like getting dressed to go out. It's not all that different, really. The only thing that's different is the belt. It's heavy. Heavier than anything I've ever worn or felt before. I wore it for weeks, learning how to walk with it, learning how to live with it. It wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. I woke up this morning to the sound of the long-haul jets coming in at dawn. Every 90 seconds, sometimes I even count. Sometimes a few seconds more, sometimes less. It's warm for October, and I poke my head outside the window and watch them arc over the tower blocks of Tower Hamlets. They're big and graceful, almost floating. 747s, mostly. I remember when I came here, flying in through the clouds, and when we landed, everything was still gray. I think about people getting off planes, exhausted, disoriented, getting into lines, waiting to be let in, like I did. Why do people come here? I recognize most of the airlines by now. They're mostly British Airways. I can spot them a mile away with their painted navy underbellies. Only BA has navy blue underbellies. I watch out for planes from America. American Airlines, United Airlines, US Air, Continental. Continental is easy to confuse with Lufthansa, navy blue tails and round yellow logos. New York, Boston, DC, Chicago even. Those come in a bit later. Today I'd be gone by then. I often wished that I'd lived in a part of the city where I could watch them flying away instead of watching them fly in. Then maybe things would have been different. I make coffee and drink it, looking out the window. It was windy and rainy yesterday, and my hair is tangled at the back. I gather it into a ponytail. I get dressed, happy for the first time in a long time, with my choice of what to wear. The belt is almost weightless now. I don't have far to go. I lock the door behind me. It's time for morning prayers. The mosque is just around the corner. It's the second week of Ramadan, and the mosque is crowded. I'm getting nervous. I take off my shoes and leave them with the others outside the prayer hall. It's small and dark, nothing like I imagined it would be. Now they see me. Finally, after all those years of walking by the building as prayers let out, they're not sure what to do. Some of the men have stopped praying. Two of them are coming toward me, confused. What is she doing here? I push the button. It wasn't as hard as I thought it would be, blowing myself up. It's not hard to leave a city you've never wanted to live in. I didn't feel a thing. <laughs>